Hola, and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. We are locked out of the laundry room. Not that Kim cares, but... So it's time to break in. Somebody in my family one day is going to help me hang this. As you can see, we jumped right into today's video. We have some issues going on in the laundry room, which is not a room that I frequent. But if you are new here, welcome. I am Kim, K-Y-M. I'm not sure whose bright idea it was when they built this, I'm assuming, because these are like the original weird looking handles. I don't want to say what I wanted to say, but anyway, this was on the inside. So you can like lock yourself in the laundry room, which makes no sense. So I'm switching it to the outside so that we won't have this issue again. My videos pertain to home life. So it's cooking, cleaning, doing DIYs, projects, painting, all of that great stuff. If that is something that you are interested in, please don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Well, so much for that idea. It's not allowing me to do it. So I have to do it the opposite way, but I'll eventually buy a doorknob. Buy you when you're falling When the river is calling Said I you know, sometimes projects do not go the way that you want them to go, but since I know what's wrong, I know that it's a win, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. The knob broke a little bit while my husband was trying to juggle it off. So now we're in my master bathroom and I'm cleaning the mirrors and also the countertops off because they're really dusty. I'll be cleaning everything with my concoction. And if you don't know what Kim's magic concoction is, I will be sure to leave the video information below in the description box so you can check it out. much better nice and clean when i do my husband's side of the sink i just put everything back the way that it was so that i'm not messing up his groove now moving along to my side my side always seems to be more dirty than his side <laughs> who gets on here looking all pretty while they clean, but that is not Kim's story. Did you see how down and dirty I got on those floors? I was just wiping them down, sweating a little bit in between, getting all dirty because there was dust in here all over the floor, you know? So saying all that to say, that is why I be coming on here looking crazy. And plus I'm not trying to impress the world anyway. I have been wanting to clean this door off for quite some time, but it's been like super cold. And on this day, it was like 12 degrees outside. Talk about disrespectful. In my last video, I talked about spiders in my house. You see that big spider web? I do not like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Is it picking up or not? That's a lot of cobwebs, okay? That's just mad disrespectful. That one little spider that was on there is the one who made this huge cobweb situation. But you know your girl took care of it. I sprayed my concoction on there and I also am going to put my vinegar back in the corner. The vinegar is back. One thing that I will say in regards of commercial cleaning, when you have a commercial cleaning job and you're there, whether or not it's part-time or full-time, sometimes you neglect your home. So did you, okay, I know that's random. I'm not trying to complain, but 
did you hear about the recall with Fabuloso? So there's a recall with Fabuloso and I really like to use Fabuloso for like different things. For general cleaning, it is not an antibacterial unless you buy antibacterial Fabuloso, which smells horrible by the way. Anyway, I'm just gonna use Dawn Power Wash to clean my cabinets, yes, Dawn Power Wash. Thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it. What's new in your world? What have you been doing? How are you doing? Mental health check-in, I hope all of you are doing well. Are you watching anything new or reading anything new? I just finished Prince Harry's book. It was called Spare and wow, talk about eye opening and just completely crazy. It was really, really good. Very riveting. If you ever decide to wipe off your cabinets with Dawn Power Wash, keep in mind that you're gonna have to wipe it twice. The first time just to kind of, you know, mix the soap up and then the second time to remove the soap. I will say, these cabinets are two shades lighter. Just saying. So after I read the book, I had all of these thoughts that just kind of were pouring in and I was just like, wow, I felt a little overwhelmed. And then I saw this quote, it says, envy propelled by fear can be even more toxic than anger because it involves the thought that other people enjoy the good things of life, which the envier can't hope to attain through hard work and emulation. Did you catch that? If you didn't, please go back and rewind it because that is deep. You never know what people are going through in their lives. You can look at them from the outside perspective and think, oh, wow, they have it going on. They're a prince. They have like everything and everyone at their beck and call. But that's not really the reality of what was going on. There was no love there other than from his mother. Very, very sad. I would never want to grow up like that. This is why I cook while I clean because this is like not easy to get off, but I didn't make the chicken, so I'm just cleaning the pan. I have burny, itchy, watery eyes. Anyway, um, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my countertops cleaned off. I need to unload my dishwasher, so I wanna, you know, be able to put the dishes on the countertop without it being dirty. So I'm gonna handle that now. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but look at this drawer. I'm so proud of myself because yeah, this is the only drawer that's organized in my house. But I guess I can make this look a little bit better. I still have to cut these in half. But like, it's really not that serious for real. Yes, that looks amazing. Look at this, look at this. Y'all should be proud of me, especially if you've been here for a long time because Kim don't organize. Kim don't have time to do that. However, it took me like, you know, three minutes to fold these and put them in here. They may not be folded like properly or neatly or whatever, but it looks good to me. That's all that matters. You have to celebrate all wins, no matter how big or small. So if you got your drawers organized while I was organizing mine, give yourself a pat on the back. I have to admit, I went a little bit crazy on the Dawn Power Wash. It's the apple scent. And the first time that I smelled it, I didn't really like it, but it was really making my kitchen smell good today. So I just like cleaned all kinds of stuff with it and it worked really well. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cleaner is, what smells good, and what you use on a normal basis.
My dishwasher is old and kind of beat up, so <laughs> it doesn't properly dry the dishes. So anytime I unload it, I always have to dry the dishes off. But what I have been doing is just having my daughter unload it so she can dry the dishes off. I mean, she's 11, she has to learn at some point, right? Don't be trying to turn me in for child labor, okay? Cause I don't have time for that. <laughs> It's all about working smart and not hard. So if you need somebody else to help you work smart, then do you, boo. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing a like kitchen organization type of video. And I'm not talking about Pinterest organization, just like normal every day. I know where to get it. I know where to go organization. Let me know. to tell the truth no one else can see you like i do all you ever do is say how far you wanna go baby i can tell it's just for sure every line designed to let My living space really needed a deep clean. It's been a while, probably like the beginning of January, a while. <laughs> but anyway, as I was like tidying up, I noticed that there were a couple stains in my carpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this carpet cleaned as well. I'm out of breath, but I need to clean my carpets. There's my carpet cleaner back there, but here is what my hallway is looking like. And I also have stuff in my kitchen. These are just behind the scenes that I just wanted to show you guys. Understand what if this doesn't go as planned? I wanted to point out when you're in the process of cleaning your carpet, prior to cleaning it, you should definitely vacuum, but just don't vacuum one time. Vacuum twice because sometimes vacuums don't pick up everything and you don't want that stuff in your carpet cleaner. Here is my carpet cleaner. I did a review on this when I first got it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a Bissell and it works very well. You know you're Even though I don't have a pet, this is an antibacterial. So I like to put this in here. I don't have much of it left. And I also add two more things. I'll show you. This stuff works really good. A little bit goes a long way. If you know, you know. Let's talk about some of the features that I like on this. You can set this at max, deep, or express clean. We wanna set ours for max, which I already did. If you need to pre-treat anything, there is a pre-treat button, which works very well, might I add. And the fact that she is purple, okay? That's what I really, really like about her. At the beginning of this year, I did a switcheroo in my living room, and it's so funny because my couch was in a completely different area, and it was longer. We did take a part off of the couch and put it on another side of the room, but from where the old couch was in front of it where the carpet was just free and clear, there's a lot of dirt and I never realized that until just now. Ooh, those are so pretty. You'll have to let me know below in the comments how often you clean your carpets. We definitely do not clean ours as much as we should, but yeah, I'm just curious. This carpet cleaner is so lightweight. I just wanna let you know that in case you're interested in purchasing it. Obviously I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I definitely would recommend it. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for, the grand finale. Let's see what this water's looking like. Drum roll, please. I belong, I belong to you. 
So what I did was I dumped it out the first time and now I'm just basically rinsing it to get all that guck out of there because that's not something that you want to leave in there because it'll start to smell. It's been a little bit of time. The floor is not like dry dry, but it's dry enough for me to like to move all of this stuff back. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to hit the like button as it really does help my channel and YouTube will finally push my videos out because for some reason they do not. And also subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Have a great day. You are needed, you are enough, and you are worthy. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys.